Hi guys, I am Surajit De and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrics De. Today we are going to study class 6 mathematics. So without wasting further time, let's start the class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Now students, today we are going to study chapter 15, perimeter and area. And this is a continuation of this chapter. And today's part is part 9, okay? Exercise 15.1. And today we are going to solve question number 11, okay? So those who have not watched the previous videos, okay, where we solved question number 1 to question number 10, you can see it, you can watch it. I have shared the link in the description below as well as in the i button. Okay. Now let us start the sum. So what it is telling? Find the cost of fencing a square park. Okay. So they are telling that you have to find out the cost of fencing a square park. So they are telling only it is a square park. So let us draw one square park. So this is a square park, okay? And square, you know, all the four sides are equal, okay? Of side 5000 centimeter, that means this side is also 5000 centimeter, this side is also 5000 centimeter, this side is also 5000 centimeter, and this side is also 5000 centimeter. So, if I start the solution, what I will write? Each side each side of the square park, square park. So it is how much? 5000 centimeter. Okay. And you have to find out the cost of fencing and what it is telling? At the rate of rupees 10 per meter. So here is the thing, per meter they are telling. So if they are telling to find out the cost per meter, then this side we have to convert it into meter. Then how we will convert now 5000 divided by 100, okay? And it becomes meter. So it becomes 0, 0 cuts, 0, 0 cuts. So what it comes? 50 meter. So side is equal to 50 meter. Now cost of fencing means fencing we will do in the borders. In the border we will do, okay? So for sides are there, four borders, so we have to find out the perimeter. So therefore, perimeter, perimeter of the square park. So let us find out first perimeter of the square park. And what is the formula? I have told you, 4 into side. So the formula is 4 into side, unit and then we will put the value side is how much 50 meter so 50 meter now if we multiply four zeros are zero four fives are 20 so 200 meter those who cannot do orally you can multiply in the rough okay four zeros are zero four fives are 20 so 200 meter now i am going to find out the cost the last step so therefore cost of fencing, cost of fencing a square park, a square park at the rate of, so you can see there, here it is written at the rate of, so we can write like this way also, A and we will circle it, okay, we will not put full circle, little bit gap here, okay, so at the rate of how much, rupees, 10 per meter, okay? So now we will find out the value. So at the rate of what? Rupees 10 per means divided by and then meter comes here into what is the perimeter of the square? Uh, what is the perimeter of the square park? It is 200 meter, okay? Now meter, meter cancels. So equal to rupees 10 into 200, 2000. And this is the answer. I hope you have understood the sum. 
nicely. Now we will move on to the next sum. Okay, that is question number 12. Find the cost of fencing a rectangular park. Now they are talking about a rectangular park. Okay, so let us draw one rectangle. Okay, so this is the rectangle, and we will write here rectangular park. Okay, now length and this is breadth of length. 0 0.8 kilometer and breadth 0 0.2 kilometer. So, length is given 0 0.8 kilometer and breadth is 0 0.2 kilometer. Okay. So, length and breadth is given. Okay. So, we will write if I want to start the solution. So, length that means L is what 0 0.8 kilometer. Okay. Now, if you see nicely, you have to find out the cost and at the rate of rupees 12 per meter, it is telling 12 rupees per means for every meter it is 12 rupees. So, meter they are telling then 0 0.8 we will convert it into meter. Okay. To convert it into meter, 1 kilometer means 1000 meter. So, we will multiply with 1000. Okay and it becomes meter. So, then how much it comes when we multiply, okay, we can do directly also. So, it will become 800 meter. Okay. So, those who cannot do, they can multiply like this way uh, 1000 into 0 0.8, 8 0 is a 0, 0, 0, 8 1 is a 8. Now, after point, one digit is there. So, the point will come here. So, it becomes what 800.0. Okay. So, that means 800 meter. Now, next breadth. Breadth is told what? How much? 0 0.2 kilometer. So, this also we will convert it 0 0.2 into 1000 meter. Now, it will become what? 200 meter. If you cannot, you have to do like this way 1000 into 0 0.2. 2 0 is a 0, 0, 0, 2 1 is a 2 and the point will be after one number. That means, point will come from this side. Okay, Crossing one number, then you have to put the point. So, we got the length and we got the breadth and we have converted into meter as well as this also breadth also in meter. Now, they are telling cost of fencing. So, like the previous sum only, fencing we will do in the borders like this way. So, borders means we have to find out the uh, perimeter. Okay. So, therefore, perimeter, perimeter of rectangular, perimeter of rectangular park. So, what is the formula? Formula is 2 into length plus breadth unit. Clear? Now, students, if you like my channel, then please give a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe it and also press the all notification bell so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Okay. Now, let us come back to the sum. So, 2 into, so length is how much? 800 meter. So, we will write 800 plus breadth is how much? 200, 200 and the unit is meter. So, 2 into 800 plus 200, 1000 and meter it will be and when you multiply with 2, it becomes 2000 meter. Clear? No? Now, we will find out the cost. Therefore, cost of fencing, cost of fencing a rectangular rectangular uh, park okay at the rate of rupees 12 per meter equal to so what we will write rupees 12 per means divided by then meter comes into and how much is the perimeter 2000 so we will write 2000 meter 
so meter meter cancels so what is left 12 and 2000 12 into 2000 so if you multiply so it will be 24000 and this is the answer now if you cannot do directly you can multiply here okay so how you will multiply see i will show you one uh, shortcut way of multiplying 12 into 2000 now 2000 has three zeros so you are putting three zeros now 2 into 2 4 2 1 just 2 so 24000 i hope you have understood the sum that is question number 12 as well as question number 11 so what you do you keep on practicing the sum again and again and students those who have not watched the previous videos you can watch it i have given the link at the end of this video okay so thank you for watching my video keep smiling bye bye